Hello, this is Mr. Bus, and I'm going to walk through how to set up and run Lab 6 on seasons and angle of insulation. All right, so first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to take one of these supporting rods and basically put it in uh, right here, but there's probably a bolt in the way. Those bolts are there to stop garbage and stuff from going to the lab tables. So you want to pop that out. Okay, I just use this to pop it out from underneath the table. And go ahead and put the supporting rod in. And you want to get a couple clamps on there. Okay, one of these clamps. Okay, that looks good. And one of these clamps. All right. And you want to put, say, a light socket in there. Okay, hold that in tight. All right. And you'll want a clear 150 watt light bulb. Okay, go ahead and put that in there carefully. Yeah, all right, let's check and see if it works. So you should have power source at your table. All right, just check it. Okay, yep. Looks good. And, all right, additional equipment you're going to need would be, uh, okay, you'll need a ruler, meter stick, half meter stick, protractor. Okay, you'll need some tape and a lab quest with temperature probe. And, of course, you're going to also need a globe. All right, so now let's uh, figure out how to set up our experiment for data collection for the first part for the northern winter. In a northern winter, uh, you're going to have the globe, the earth, all right, with the north pole, all right, where the axis is in the north, in true north, uh, pointed away from the light bulb. So not like this. That's where it's pointed towards. We want to make sure that our globe is pointed, has the north pole pointed away from the light bulb. All right, and then there's a couple other things we want to check and make sure that they're in place. Um, one is that the light bulb, which is our sun, uh, is going to be set such that it is the first day of winter. And the first day of winter, you're going to have the sun in line with the, something called the Tropic of Capricorn. And the Tropic of Capricorn is labeled on the globe, so it's a dotted line. And so what you're going to do is just you're going to eyeball it, and you're going to make sure that the bulb, the center of the bulb, is in line with the Tropic of Capricorn. And then another thing you have to make sure is that first you have to find Minnesota, right? So find North America and find Minnesota. And to the best of your ability, you're going to measure that we in Minneapolis, or obviously Farmington, Farmington's not labeled on the globe, but Minneapolis is, uh, and St. Paul, we want to be 25 centimeters from the center of the light bulb. So the distance from here to here should be 25 centimeters. And it's not going to be super easy to measure that, but again, you just want to put, uh, you know, zero at the at the tip or the center of the bulb there, and then 25 should be where we are up in Minneapolis or obviously Farmington. All right, and if that's set, if the North Pole is pointed away, the bulb is in line with the Tropic of Capricorn, and your distance is 25 centimeters from here to here, you will be kind of situated and set up appropriately for data collection of a northern winter. All right, before you start data collection, you're going to tape the globe, probably put some tape on the opposite end of the globe, tape it down so it doesn't spin uh, while you're running the data collection. Maybe put a second piece on. Okay, so the globe is kind of taped down. And then you're going to want to position the tip of the temperature probe uh, on the globe and directly where we are in Minneapolis. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so I taped down the probe and I taped down the wire so that the probe isn't falling down too much. Now I'm going to fold just a regular sized piece of paper a bunch of times. Now I'm going to wedge that paper under the temperature probe and what that's doing is it's kind of forcing down the tip of the temperature probe to make contact and touch Minnesota. So that's as good as it's going to get. Basically this looks crazy but I've got the temperature probe positioned such that even if you zoom in here see if I can get the phone to zoom in. Okay the tip of the temperature probe is actually making contact with the globe at Minnesota, Minneapolis, again, close to Farmington. To recheck your distances, make sure the temperature probe is still at 
25 centimeters away where we live in Minneapolis or Farmington area. All right, you're almost set. Now what you need to do is take a fan from one of the cabinets and turn it on and for at least a minute or so, cool off the temperature probe. It actually is pretty warm from having been handled while you got it set uh, at Farmington or, or Minnesota. So take a minute and cool off the temperature probe before you start. Go set up our LabQuest to collect data then. Go to the LabQuest app. Make sure you're on the meter mode. Okay, there's the meter tab. Mode should be time-based. Rate. Let's just collect 0.1 samples per second. So that means it's going to take 10 seconds to take a sample, which is shown in the interval here. And ch change the duration to 600 seconds, which is 10 minutes. So 0.1 samples per second, which is 10 seconds for every sample and 600 seconds. Okay, make sure the temperature is pretty normal for room temperature, which should be 22, 23, 24 degrees Celsius. If you were touching the tip of the temperature probe a lot when you were getting it set up, that might be warmer and you might want to let it cool down. So if this is going down, let it continue to go down until you start the experiment. We're ready to start, so go ahead and hit play and turn on your light bulb. Okay, this is going to run for 10 minutes. At the end of the 10 minutes, the lab question just automatically stop data collection. You can go ahead and turn your light bulb off, allow the globe to cool, and reposition your globe for a northern summer for part two. When it's done running after 10 minutes, turn the light bulb off. So let's take a look at the data here. You can see totally, I, I didn't wait long enough for the temperature probe to cool down. So after I turned the light on, the temperature probe actually, the temperature went down. Uh, it went down because it was still going down after I had warmed it up because I was handling the temperature probe, getting it attached to the globe. And at this point, it kind of stabilized and it went up. So you could assume that, you know, this would have been a straight line had I let the temperature probe cool off long enough. And then it did start to warm up over time in the northern winter. Not very much. It went up a little bit. When you're ready to start the next run, tap the file cabinet icon to save run one, and now you're on run two. And so whenever you hit play, it's going to start collecting the second run of data, but it won't have forgotten about the first. So for part two to set up data collection, you're gonna to want to have this be for summer data collection. So you'll want to turn the globe such that the North Pole is now facing the light bulb. You want to make sure the tip of the temperature probe is still at Minneapolis and it's still touching the globe. You might want to tape the globe down so it doesn't spin, although it doesn't look like it's going to be spinning here at all. And then you'll want to reposition the light bulb so that it's now across from the Tropic of Cancer. So you'll probably have to raise the light bulb up a little bit to do that. You'll want to find the Tropic of Cancer and make sure that the center of the bulb is across from the of, Tropic of Cancer. And then you want to get the distance right, so you still want the temperature probe to be 25 centimeters from the light bulb. Okay. So, looks like it's set. Again, so you can see here. The temperature probe is now 25 centimeters from the light bulb. The light bulb is in line with the Tropic of Cancer. And the temperature probe is still set. So go ahead and on your LabQuest device, go ahead and hit play. Turn on the light bulb and collect data for another 10 minute run. The data collection is complete. Over the 10 minutes, turn off the light. Check your graph really quick. Yep, that looks pretty good. Um, now I'm going to make sure that my iPad is connected. And so you can see the graph is on my iPad there. Looks great. I'm going to make sure to add both graphs or both runs at the same time so that I've got my 
run of the northern winter and I've got my run of the northern summer. I'm going to go ahead and screenshot that and include that in my report and yay it worked really well. Obviously in the northern summer we got much more of a temperature increase than we did in the northern winter even though in both runs the tip of the temperature probe was actually exactly the same distance from the light bulb but what mattered was the angle and so again to measure the angle, the angle was much less um, extreme in the northern summer than it was in the northern winter.